The Earth's magnetic field extends outward into space and has what is known as a dipole shape. Strangely enough, the Earth's magnetic north pole is actually located near its geographic south pole. This means the magnetic field lines, which appear to emanate from the north magnetic pole and terminate in the south magnetic pole, run from south to north geographically. A compass needle aligns with these field lines, which is why the north pole of a magnet points towards the Earth's magnetic south pole, located at our geographic north pole. How confusing is that? If you are standing on Earth, you'll measure the lines as passing parallel to the surface of the Earth at most latitudes. However, near the poles, the magnetic field points more downward, into the ground, and the compass needle would dip. Scouts and other adventurers can use their compasses to measure this dip and get a sense of their latitude. The density of the field lines, basically how many are packed into some region of space, tells us about the strength of the field. As you can see, the Earth's magnetic field is strongest near the poles. When charged particles arrive from the sun, they interact with the magnetic field. Forces applied to charged particles are at right angles to the field, so these particles spiral around the field lines. They can move freely along the field lines, so often these particles find themselves dumped into the Earth's north and south pole. When they interact with the upper atmosphere, light energy is released, and we call the light show aurora. If we navigate to Mercury, we can see that its magnetic field is much weaker than Earth's, and also not as tilted. How do we know it's weaker? Well, the field lines are much more spaced out than for the Earth. When we navigate to Mars, we see that it has such a weak magnetic field that we can't measure it here. This means that the charged particles from the Sun that are deflected by Earth's magnetic field will hit the surface of Mars. If any humans are exploring Mars, this cosmic radiation will present a health problem. Jupiter has a very strong and big magnetic field, actually extending far beyond what is shown here. By some accounts, Jupiter's magnetic field is the largest object in the solar system, even bigger than the Sun. Thank you for watching.